What's going on everyone, welcome to another video, today I'm back in Race League and I'm going to be experimenting to see if I can make this F1 car drive on a vertical wall. Now typically we don't really get to try something like that in racing sims because there isn't really a real life track that has a vertical wall section on it, however this racing sim has a track builder so I will be taking advantage of that to see if I can build something uh, that can check off all the boxes for the perfect wall ride. We obviously need to be going fast enough, we need to have the grip we need to have a good angle of approach and i also need to be able to make a vertical wall i haven't really experimented with that guys but i'm going to hop into the track builder right now and we're going to check it out i don't think i'm going to do a time lapse for this because i i'm going to be experimenting basically the whole time so i think the first thing i'm going to do is actually make the map size bigger uh just because i want more run up uh to whatever it is that i'm going to be building here come on there we go Got a big map now. I think that should be good. Oh man, I forget the controls. I play so many games and I have to learn so many controls. I know guys, my life is very hard. But anyway, let's do this. I'm going to place down uh, some road and then we're going to see if we can curve it to basically 90 degrees perpendicular to the surface. Straight road. That's good. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, how to play, how to play game. Let's see if I can camber this all the way to the right. Okay, so I can only do 46 degree bank. Okay, I mean, we can try that. Just, you know, see what kind of results we get. That's not a problem. Of course, I start somewhere in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I should probably put a grid spot down. That would, that would probably be the smart thing to do. Let's do that. All right, let's see what, uh, let's see what this is. We might need a much more gradual approach. Oh my goodness. Well, we can stay on the 46 degree. That was cool. <laughs> oh, no. Off the path we go. I think I need a bigger map, guys. For real. Seriously. Okay, let's uh, let's start over. Now, I've actually been thinking, if I'm not going to be able to do this with a terrain builder, let's just do a max size map. Perfect. Is it go there we go. <laughs> and we're going to go diagonally just to really maximize my space here. But yeah, I was thinking, guys, if I can't actually get this terrain builder to do what I want it to do, maybe what I could do is actually uh, use like a building as a prop because this does have buildings. Uh, let me show you. Where are you buildings? There you go. We got buildings and they have... Oh man, that's, that's a very big map that I generated. But yeah, the buildings do have like flat sides. So maybe it's possible. I don't know. I don't know. But let's get rid of that because we're not, we're not doing any of that. Let's build another road. Maybe I should make it higher. I really didn't try uh, messing with the height yet. So let's do that. And we just jack this all the way up. Oh my goodness. Oh my... I... I could potentially make something maybe with that i don't know interesting very interesting okay well we're gonna give it a try because why not go 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 there we go now we uh we form the terrain oh my gosh that is atrocious and uh we put some pavement on there oh my god the pavement doesn't even show up well why would it show up man like look at this what have i done what have i built i wonder if i can actually paint that into tarmac Hello. I'm not gonna have like any run up here, dude. Okay, well, this is awful, but we're gonna try it anyway, because why not? Just gonna paint the rest of this in concrete or other tarmac. Tarmac Hills, you know? It's probably a neighborhood out there somewhere that's called Tarmac Hills, right? They name stuff after anything these days. Okay, well, let's put it down a grid spot and see if I can even drive on this atrocity. This is awful. I I already hate it, but you know, let's just let's just do this in tarmac. Where my grid spot at though? There we go. Grid spot placed and test. Not looking forward to this. Drive two clean laps, bruh. There are no laps. There's just death. All right, let's go. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, perfect. So we're going to take that transition slowly. Got to drive this like a stance car. Oh man, I don't know if I'll be able to make it down onto that. I'm like already slipping, dude. Already slipping. Uh. Uh. I mean, uh. No. <laughs> uh, that did not work out at all. Okay, let's try that again. I want to see if I can at least drive on the other section without, you know, too much problems stance car life oh boy oh boy this is cool though Ooh, ooh! i really gotta counteract that oh man am i gonna eat myself 
I totally, yep. <laughs> hey, landed on all four, kind of, maybe. Hey, landed on all four. Still good, let's go. <laughs> I got this, gents. <laughs> Let me see if I can do something else here with the track builder. Actually, that doesn't look bad. If I can get on that, man, like if I could get on that, that would be so primo. I'm gonna see if I can get on that. It keeps telling me to drive clean laps and it's just like, bruh, do you see what I'm trying to do? Cause there, there ain't nothing clean about this. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 I need, the, I need more approach speed, 100%. Okay, let's try that. Let's try more approach speed. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Uh, we need a bigger map. I don't know if I'm gonna have the, uh, you know, the adequate speed here to do this. Yeah, I just, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna have to figure out how to do this gradually. Because this is just, there's no way. There's no way, man. I wonder how bumpy that is. Is that, like, extremely bumpy? Who knows, right? I guess we'll find out. Uh, but I'm gonna build a road next to it. And hopefully use that as my transition. So let's give that a try. Huh. It, like, almost wants to do it itself. That's interesting. I don't know. Let's try it. That's so weird, but let's try it. Don't think we're gonna make it, guys. I don't have a lot of faith, but we can definitely try. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's rough. That's rough. I don't think we have the downforce. I just don't think I'm going fast enough, you know? Let's try that again. I might need to uh, take advantage of uh, centrifugal force and actually make like a curved uh, vertical wall because I don't know how else I'm going to be able to stay in it. Going a little bit faster than before, but not really, man. Oh, 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 I was almost doing it. I was almost doing it, dude. Oh, I almost like need more verticality or something. I don't know. That's, oh, that's crazy. I got to try that again. Getting all the speed. Oh no, man, I caught way too much air there. The tra I, I took the transition wrong. Hey, I landed nicely though. Fully attacked too, this is good. Okay, let's see if this transition is going to be any better, hopefully. Oh no, man. Oh no. Gonna go maybe a little bit lower. No. I, ah, I think I need a bit of an inside curvature, guys. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna rebuild this and give it just a bit of an inside curvature because if anything i should be going on the other side of this thing look at it it's so much nicer there it's so much nicer there <laughs> i might actually have better results if i just try it on here let's uh, let's give that a go can i move the sun to a different location that would be nice so that i can see what i'm doing this is like the dark side of the moon you know the dark side of the wall ride Still looking a little bit jank, but I think this has, uh, you know, the most potential to work. I did curve it, as you can see. It is tall, it is almost vertical. I'd say that's like 85 degrees, you know? And I think my transition is pretty decent. It might be too short. Hopefully it's not. I probably should have saved this track before I build the... Eh, whatever. Let's just, let's just put a grid spot down and we're going to test this out. See what's up. Hopefully it works. Oh, man. This is crazy. That that's way that's bro. What did I do? What what is that road, man? What the frick is that road, dude? What was that? <laughs> okay, I think we got slightly more progress. Maybe I don't know. Let's try that out. That looks like a better transition, but I do have a weird lip that uh, is being created there. So I don't know if that's gonna mess me up or what. But hey. I'm excited to try. I feel like I'm getting closer, guys. This is gonna be so sick when I pull it off. Ah. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man, that's rough. It felt like it had a lot more potential when it was more straight for some reason. Here we go. Up onto the wall. No. Alrighty. Fully rebuilt, and I think I'm ready to give this another go. I've got the pavement basically along the whole side. It's not at a full 90, but I think I think maybe if I can get on it, I can stay on it. I really hope so. Let's give it a go. This transition might need some work. I'm just letting you guys know right now. Transition definitely needs some work. The transition bulges out, and it really shouldn't be. It uh, That kind of makes things very awkward.
Oh my goodness. It was gonna happen and then there's that divot there. Are you kidding me? Uh... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Am I doing it? Oh my goodness. I almost did it. My approach is just... Uh, my approach is too rough. Alrighty guys. I made a bit of a better ramp onto it. Let's see if that helps me. Hopefully it does. <laughs> I'm starting to think this may not be possible. Or just very, very, very difficult. Alright, here we go. Up my little ramp here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we oh no, I caught air and I flew. Oh man. You, you cannot, you cannot leave the ground. If your wheels leave the ground, the thing is flying. Like absolutely flying. Oh, just hoping that I could make that. Man, I gotta work on that transition. Many, many minutes later. I have been at this for so long, guys. And I feel like I'm getting close. But every time I get on the wall, I just start losing uh, height. And I don't know what to do about it. I think I might try actually starting, you know, like from the top. And then, oh, 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 oh. I see, like I start, I just start losing too much. Too much height, man. I feel like I need to make uh, make a path that actually is like up above and then like somehow comes onto this. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I, I guess I'm gonna try. As it stands, I think this is just way too uneven. I don't really know how to smooth it out. I'm gonna have to think about this one. For you guys, this probably is gonna be a second, but I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna ponder over this uh, problem that I have here and hopefully I can figure something out. You know guys, this right here is a very good learning moment. <laughs> it's very important to take a step back sometimes if something's not working out and you know, just, just take a breather, just clear your mind. Now I ended up taking a break, like I said, and I came back to this and I was like, man, I think I'm overthinking this. I think I'm trying to overcomplicate my approach. I think I'm just trying to, you know, just add way too much stuff to this track. Let's try and keep it simple. Let's go back to the basics. So all I did, guys, was I created a very long spline. I've got a straight section here, and then I've got a curved section right here. And all I did was messed with the height. I didn't touch the camber at all. I was like, you know what? Let's jack this up to 100 meters all the way at this end. And on this end, we're just gonna keep it at whatever it is. You know, we're just gonna keep it at relatively zero. Now I did have to adjust it a little bit, but the point stands, it goes from almost zero to 100 very gradually, and it actually creates this uh, nice gradual approach slope here, which I think is actually going to work out. It might work out. I don't know if we're gonna be able to stay on the wall. I don't know if we're gonna be able to produce enough, uh, you know, centrifugal force uh, with, you know, how big of a curvature this is, uh, but we can try and I am, I'm ready guys. I'm excited. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm really curious to see how this is gonna work out. So let's give it a go. Alrighty, as you can see, I made some gravel here or rather tarmac. Okay, fifth gear, slowly transitioning. Are we actually going to make it? Are, wait, what? What the heck happened there, man? No clue how things just randomly get moved around in the builder, but I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna go test drive because I have it saved and uh, we'll, we'll see how this does. That looks okay. That looks good. Let's go. Man, the transition looks so smooth. Here we go, fifth gear. Already starting to fall off. I'm fight. Oh my goodness. Can I do it? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What? Oh no, we fell off. I just, I don't have the speed. I don't think. I just don't have the speed to go up the wall. Okay, let's try that again. That is awesome. That is the, that is the best run we've gotten so far. That's just, oh, uh, that's so cool. <laughs> let's try that again. I'm going to try to go higher. Uh, just to see if, you know, I can get a little bit of extra height and stay up there. I'm not sure, though. Alright, here we go. Go up a little bit. No, oh, 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 no, that, that, wow. <laughs> That's a little too high up. I cannot believe this is kind of working. Makes me so happy. I've been at this for like two hours. Try and stay kind of to the top. Come on, come on, up, up. No, 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 no. oh, no. I was afraid of going too far up and I... I corrected to the right and it just flung me downwards. Man, that's tough. I think this is like, this is as close as I've gotten to success though. This is, this is fantastic. 
All right, here we go. Fifth gear again. Let's see how long I can actually ride on this wall for. I'd love to be able to do the whole thing, okay? Staying a little up, 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 up. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no, there's there's my old wheels. <laughs> it's like the same spot. <laughs> what? My wheels are just still there? That's ridiculous. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I'm actually wall riding, but I don't have the speed to like stay on there. Now, I wonder if I need to shift up a gear maybe? Get a little bit more into the... Uh, you know, torque here, RPMs? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, fifth. Okay, let's try going six here. Ooh, six is slow, man. Uh, go up. Go up. Oh, I didn't make it nearly as far. Man, this that's a cool challenge, though. See how far he can make it? Oh, uh, that's crazy. I'm gonna try again. This is so much fun. Up. Up. Up, 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 up. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it does it, it just can't do it for very long. Come on, up. Up, 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 Ah, it just starts falling off. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm trying something different now, and it's not really working out. Basically, what I'm trying to do is minimize how much straight wall riding I do, and uh, rather just try and hop into the curve right away. And I'm also trying to make this curve tighter, just so I kind of stay in it. But this is coming with some issues, guys. As you can see right here, we've got some ribbing going on. So when it's this tight, uh, it seems to create a sort of ribbing, which I just, I mean, I completely get wrecked on it. I just, I get so wrecked on it here. Let me show you. As you can see, it's already a little bit bumpy. I'm trying to keep it together, I'm trying to keep it together. And I just, I hit the first bump and it's, and it's GG, guys is GG. The other wall ride works way, way better. Let's go back to it. I got a pretty successful wall ride, I'd say. I mean, the rest of it really depends on the speed and it depends on, you know, what the builder can do. But this is just, this is so smooth. It's just so smooth. Look at that. Oh man, I feel like that's the furthest I've ever, I feel like that's the furthest I've ever gone. <laughs> oh jeez, that's so cool. I, I love doing that. It feels so much more satisfying than trying to do the really tight one. The tight radius really does have some weird ribbing going on and it's, uh, you know, it's not fun. It's not fun. Oh, mo oh boy, here we go. Here oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yes, I made it even further. Oh, that's crazy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to call this a success. I definitely think that I, uh, you know, achieved what I set out to do. I wish I could do the whole thing. I wish I could ride the whole wall, but like I said, uh, there are certain limitations here. This is just way too fun, man. Oh, if you go too high, you kind of catch the ribbing as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. You sort of have to stay in the middle. And, of course, it always wants to uh, fall back down. But in any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh, go. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> oh, man. And we're still going. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. See you guys later.